lily and buttercup enjoying a piece of apple, a quarter apple I gave each of them. But little buttercup wants to share mama's apple. Doesn't even realise I've given her or him, don't know his gender yet, a, uh, a piece of their own. But isn't it, aren't they cute? They're just so cute. She took it out of my hand. Look at her. She's a lovely girl. We're very blessed at sacred space with all our beautiful wild animals and trees and plants and all my pets and the spirits that love us and the ancestors that love us and my remaining family members, my cousins, my daughter and my true and enduring and loyal and beautiful friends. What more can one woman want? Hmm? We don't need anything else, do we, little cross pots? Eh? We have the love from all the supernal realms trickling down to Malkut from the Ain Sof and back again. Harmonising and purifying the trauma and the horror and gifting us more and more and more beauty and happiness and love and we had a wild lorikeet that came to visit as well just after I put Charlie back in his cage inside because it looked like a storm was coming this lovely bird came and perched above the tree and was singing to me probably wondering where Charlie was so that was delightful also and I've had a beautiful morning. I was um, ranting and raving ad nauseum in a really loud voice. A kind of a weird histrionic, I don't know, PTSD type high to my cousin Megan in New Zealand. And I really chewed her arm off. It was quite funny. Um, so sorry about that, Megan. Uh, but anyway. I'm calming down now and settling down. I'm off to see my doctor soon. And uh, that should be interesting. And uh, then I'll probably carry on with my bit of mosaicing for the rest of the day now that the sun's come back out. So, life is good at sacred space. Is it not by regard? Hey, yes, the possums have their apples. I gave them some apple. I haven't given them any any apple for a while, so I'll we'll spoil them today. We shall spoil the potties. Yes. Mm.